Good morning. Well, uh, I've been out walking and it's been nice and now it's starting to rain. <laughs> Maybe the weather's trying to tell me I shouldn't be doing this. Um, but uh, I think we probably have enough time before it dumps like a, a kitchen sink on top of me. Uh, I think it's interesting that this guy named Lamb, who's the head of uh, some Christian network, uh, who was very strong in all the conspiracy theories against the vaccine, is now dead in the 60s. Good job, fella. But, you know, it's fine he takes his own life by being stupid. But all those other people he's misled because they believe what he says because he's a Christian and is supposed to care for them and be on the same side. Uh, I don't believe in hell, but figuratively, metaphorically, that's what he's done. Uh, he's, he's commissioned himself to hell for all the people he's hurt, including himself and his family members, who knows, who may have been vaccinated. Uh, some people have pushed back when I said that there is a possibility we can save Roe v. Wade and Casey, and I, I think that's true. However, the long shot is, first, that Roberts joins the, the liberals. That gives us four. And we need one more vote. And Kavanaugh in the past has, I think, shown some ambition to side with Roberts for the purposes of appearing more constructive. Of course, this was a defining issue that got him on the court. Of course, he also promised Senator Collins that he respected precedent. We know these guys lie, so uh, uh, the hope is that maybe not for the right reasons, but as an outcome, they decide to support the precedent. If they don't, they're going to be safe, safe states for women and ones that are not. And uh, we're going to have to work in each of our states to keep women safe and win elections. It's that simple and that difficult. In the category of Rittenhouse, I know, going back a little bit, remember how his mom brought him to the scene of the crime, basically. Well, that's some sort of parenting, isn't it? Well, the shooting that happened in Michigan, the prosecutor's doing something interesting. She's going after the parent, parents, who, in her mind, and perhaps is true, I don't know the facts yet, but I like it as a template. Why should parents of minors be able to walk away from the fact that they may have facilitated the death that was caused by their child, man, woman, usually a man, usually young, who got a gun that he or she shouldn't have had? I'm glad to hear Stacey Abrams announced yesterday that she's going to uh, run for governor again. I hope she gets it this time. And uh, in the category of Trump is always the bad guy, legitimately, honestly, sometimes inconceivably, even for those who, who believe he's a tramp and no good and evil and amoral. <laughs> he had the virus before the first debate with uh, Biden. What kind of person does that kind of stuff? Trump. And the thing that drives me crazy is still no reckoning. Yes, I'm encouraged that we're looking at uh, Sidney Powell's uh, fundraising in connection with uh, the insurrection and opposing uh, counting the votes for Biden. And yes, I'm encouraged by the fact that we have contempt charges against Bannon. And yes, I'm encouraged that apparently we're going to have more contempt charges today, and I hope that keeps coming. But the United States is in a difficult place, even as I'm talking to you. We have Democrats and Republicans who can't decide how to keep the government open. How are we the best and the brightest? How are we to lead the world when we can't run our government any better than kids run a Kool-Aid stand. In fact, the kids I've seen run Kool-Aid stands, including my own experience. Uh, we did a better job than these guys. We counted the money. We gave good products. <laughs> we were, we responded to <laughs> the, the consumers. You know, uh, I, you wouldn't trust a lot of these guys to park your car. And when you hear them talk, you wouldn't want them around your children or your family because they so discontent. And you got to ask yourself, how is it that a member of Congress could threaten the life of another member of Congress and no one file an assault charge? Even out here in sleepy Loudoun County, some guy 
uh, got upset with me. I think it was about guns. It may have been about some other issue, including taking down the statue of the Confederate soldier in the nearby county seat. And uh, I reported him to the police and forced him to apologize. And I did ask the sheriff to go after him. You cannot let these people get away with this stuff, whether it's individual or collective. AOC should be seeking assault charges. Censure's not enough. We let these guys get away with this. It's not official business to go on Twitter and say such crap. So, uh, well, the rain slows down a little bit, so maybe I'll be able to do this without running the last uh, part of my, my walk today. All the best. Have a good day. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.